Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jason, this is Old Car Auto Guy. Today, I'm giving five shout outs to some of the guys that I follow that are small YouTubers just like me. So guys, the goal today is hopefully that I can share some of the guys that I watch that are small YouTubers as well, just like me, and that you because you're watching me obviously are into cars and that you would go over and look at their channels and follow them as well because I know as a small youtuber every opportunity to grow is an opportunity to move in the right direction so we're trying to give these guys a head start somebody's done it for me in the past and I just want to fulfill that by letting my audience know and who some of the up-and-comers will be to stay on the lookout for so I'm gonna list these off in the order of lowest subscriber to highest subscriber. So we're gonna start with Apollo's Iron Fist and Zane right now is trying his hardest to build a subscriber base. I will put his information in the description box below as well as right above me. So you can head over to his channel and take a look and see what he's up to. He's a Chevy guy, he's got a Chevy pickup that he's doing a little bit of work on. So right now he's sitting at 20 subscribers so it's my goal to help him to boost that Granted, I've only got the 525 or 30 right now, but uh, I know that hopefully some of you guys will go over there and, uh, and help give him a little bit of a boost because I know he would certainly appreciate it. He supports me. He watches almost all of my videos, and uh, you know he gave me a little bit of a shout-out on his channel the other day uh, to his subscribers. So I'm just trying to return that favor. Next on the list is uh, my friend Kip with America Bumper to Bumper. And Kip does a lot of automotive news style reporting and just recently his most recent video is doing car reviews on used cars. He's got a buddy that's got a used car lot just like me and he's doing some reviews in depth on uh, some of these vehicles and, uh, and, and again it's something that in hopes that in the local area he can start getting his name out there. He's from Vermont and uh, I just want to give him a shout out because uh, him and I talk back and forth quite frequently. Uh, he's also got a live stream, I believe, on Friday evenings that you can turn into and catch up on the week's uh, automotive news. Next, we have Tony uh, by Driven by Gears, and I've mentioned him in my videos before. I'll put his name right above as well as in the description. Tony sits right around 1,000 subscribers. Tony does a little bit of everything. He does some fabrication uh, on a couple of vehicles that he has, Chevy, uh, Chevy pickups. One of them is a two-wheel drive long box he calls a General. The other one is a newer body style, Silverado, that he has been doing some uh, custom metal work on, building like a roof rack and, su and such. Uh, he also does a little bit of gaming, so if you're into that sort of thing, uh, go check his channel out, see what you think, and uh, maybe click that subscribe button for him uh, and help boost that subscriber base. Another fellow who has a car-based YouTube channel is Sean over at Novataz. And I'm not sure exactly where he got the name Novataz. I can only assume the Nova from, uh, from a vehicle that he owns. But he's also got a project he's working on right now. I believe it's a Trans Am. And uh, Sean had a little bit of a setback. He was upwards of 1,500 subscribers, and right now he's sitting at just over 1,100. YouTube had a big purge of uh, channels who had some subscribers that weren't watching that particular subscriber. During that purge he lost somewhere uh, in the vicinity of about 500 subscribers maybe and I'm sure he can chime in on that to verify but he's trying to build his subscriber base back up again and uh, hopefully with uh, with this video it'll help with a few heading his way. Last but certainly not least is a fellow that I just recently stumbled on from a place called Ottawa, Kansas, and his name is Jed Scott, and Jed has a channel called Scott Speed Shop, and they are Mopar guys. Him and his dad do a lot of building on, uh, on uh, Chrysler products, Dodge, Plymouth, uh, you know, basically all your Mopars, and they've got a lot of Hemi projects and, and, and uh, 440 stuff that they're working on. And uh, we just recently connected, and I'm hoping to lean on him a little bit for my 360 build in, uh, in my old car, and uh, so if you guys uh, are into Mopars, this is a channel that you really want to reach out and, uh, and subscribe to because he's got a lot of good content. Uh, he gave me a shout out on his channel with 2,900 subscribers uh, in one of his last videos uh, in, his live, uh, in a live stream. So I really appreciate the fact that he did that for me. And I want to send any of my subscribers that may not know of him 
back over to him so he can take they can take a look and see what's going on over at Scott's Speed Shop. It's just a little backyard business, but uh, it's very entertaining to watch him uh, and uh, and see what he does in his shop. So there are five small YouTubers um, that I like to watch that I feel that if you're watching me, you should be over there watching them if you're not already. I take pride in what I do and a lot of guys say that what I do is, is, uh, is professional and I look at it a little bit differently because I'm critiquing myself, but obviously I want to get better. I want to start with a few, uh, you know, special effects and, and different stuff like that, but uh, I'm having fun doing what I'm doing. I appreciate everybody who uh, watches my videos and who has subscribed and who are sharing my videos because I see all the analytics and I see that uh, my videos are getting shared. Uh, but one of the biggest things that I'm noticing is my the people who are watching my channel, over half of them aren't even subscribed. So guys, if that even if a small portion of you guys who watch my videos that aren't subscribed go down right now and hit that red subscribe button, you're going to help me get closer to that 1,000 subscriber base so that I can do the $1,000 giveaway at the end of January. I appreciate everything that you guys do. You're always giving these videos likes. Uh, I've got a huge, huge base of guys who comment on almost every video. Thank you guys. I really appreciate when I do get some of the feedback, especially when I'm working on the hashtag bubbles in some of these videos and you guys are reaching out and giving me some ideas to, uh, to try on some of the electrical issues that we're having with that vehicle. So guys, I'm wearing a old car auto guy hoodie you can get hoodies and t-shirts in many sizes, many colors, and the price is very reasonable. I've got new ones coming out very, very shortly, so I hope to uh, have some of those out uh, in the early spring. But in the meantime, these ones are available, and I hope that you guys can uh, help support the channel by buying some of these hoodies and t-shirts, and that way I can put that money back into making some better content for you. So guys, having said all that, I like to end my videos by saying, focus on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys. God bless. Let's do it again real soon.